Power brokers within the Victorian Liberal Party are pushing for gender quotas to be considered, with some members saying without them, the party risks becoming irrelevant. Some women have spoken out, saying quotas are the only way to level the playing field. Jean Edwards reports. Felicity Frederico has spent the last two years struggling to win pre-selection in a couple of Melbourne's plum bayside seats. She now believes quotas are the key to closing the Liberal Party's gender gap. I have come round to the thinking that quotas are the only thing that are going to work. Quotas until the playing field is level. The push for quotas for women has now been aired at a meeting of party power brokers reeling from last weekend's disastrous election loss. They are being urged to pursue a more representative parliamentary lineup. We need to get um, a base of women in parliament and with the numbers diminishing as they are, the only way to do that is, is, is to institute a quota system. Two years ago, opposition leader Matthew Guy set a target to boost the proportion of Liberal women in the parliament. But the election result means there could be as few as nine in the entire House. They argue the party not only needs more women, but more women in safe seats. Unless they are in safe seats, they can't possibly hope for career progression and a long time in parliament. In contrast, women will make up half of the Labor Premier Daniel Andrews' new cabinet. When a parliament represents as best it can what the whole community is like, you get better legislation, you get better policy, you get better outcomes for the community. Uh, the member for Chisholm. Federal Liberal turned independent MP Julia Banks condemned what she called the blinkered rejection of quotas in her move to the crossbench. Others warn the party ignores the message at its peril. The messages are there, but if we continue to ignore what those messages and what the voters are saying, the Liberal Party will, will, will no longer be relevant. A lesson in listening. Jean Edwards, ABC News, Melbourne.